All right, let's bring up our final group, uh, the headliner for tonight, Seagull Related Fish Fight. <laughs> Everybody, we are Seagull and Related Fish Fight. I'm Melissa, Jimmy, Bagley, Chris, Brad. We're gonna do some improv for you. Uh, thanks for waving back. Um, all we need to get started is the name of an object. Tuba. A tuba is what I heard. heard. Tuba. We zoom in on a sousaphone, which is a marching band tuba. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. The kind that you wear? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's got an embroidered shoulder pad, so you don't get you don't get. Achy shoulders. Oh. It's polished to a mirror shine. Oh. It's festooned in ribbons that read "Go Wildcats." Ooh. There's a letter missing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the spit valve is like it's like a little bit leaky. So like there's always like a one little like a doop doop doop. It's in rhythm. It's in rhythm. Wow. They've uh, they've used like a, 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 a like an embossed paint on the inside of the tuba tube where they. Air comes out mm -hmm. yeah. and it looks like swirling green flames. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds best when played in D major. Of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's, yeah. the, the, there's, there's four keys on it, uh, but one of the keys is an off color because they had to recently change that one. Mm -hmm. wow. And the mouthpiece is a different color metal than the rest of the, the sousaphone. That one's like brassy, and the mouthpiece is like a silvery sort uh, of color. And there's lipstick on it. <laughs> Uh, engraved on the bell, uh, it, it says, it says, from dad. Aww. It's nice of him. <laughs> it's okay, honey. Not everyone can make first chair. I still love you. <laughs> can I take my whole jacket off? <laughs> I knew you needed comfort as soon as you walked in. Oh, is our baby home? She's oh. not first chair. She failed. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. Not everybody gets only one first chair. That's true. That's why it's first. Not enough chairs. Not enough chairs. <laughs> I made mean, second so chairs okay. respectable. You know, this is my first time trying for the Philharmonic, so I'm very, I'm very happy with second chair. I'm like, yes. You know what? I bet you tried your best. That's all your mother and I want that's, from you. That's it. Just that's try it. your best we with all the other it. losers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am happy with this result. We know for you this took a lot. Mm -hmm. Just to get to just losing is just a lot. It's <laughs> just a lot. Your older sister, on the other hand, oh. 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 they make something above first chair for uh, her. I know, the old one lips on that one. Wow. <laughs> She is that an outplay. Outstanding. outstanding. Oh. Wow. They moved my chair. What? To the conductor's podium. Oh! taking a picture of it with a filter. Ooh, I did. But even the filters, even they just the filters. kinda you know, it's like such a weird shade of like pinkish purple. Uh -huh. They even all like the, uh -huh. the in-betweens. Valencia doesn't uh -huh. even make this one. Really? <laughs> oh, okay. Now I don't want to say okay. that I didn't think you did a good job. Okay. Clearly fantastic. I did a great work. job. Spotless, not Thank a blemish you. on it. Thank you. But the color. Thank you. The color. Yeah. Really what we were going Yeah, do you remember here? when I showed you the color? Remember when I showed you I said this? And you said, yeah. Yeah. It's just that it's not so much the the uh, the color you showed me was more of a red, and it is red lobster, 
So when we right. wanted you to paint yeah. the sign for Red Lobster, we were okay. expecting a red okay. lobster. Okay. I hear that. I hear that, you know, and I, I understand where, like, why thematically you want red. You were going for a concept right, here. Right, right. I'm just saying, you know, natu naturally speaking, it's not a real, I mean, no, I Whoa, did you just see that lime green lobster? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very confusing to us customers because people, oh, I'll, I'll, it's all you can eat shrimp month. Right. So people come to Red Lobster right. to eat as much shrimp as right. they can fit in their bodies. Well, of course. Well, I and, it would. and if you're looking for a place called Red Lobster, sure. you might not stop at a place that has, say, a purplish lobster. Hey, Mom, I want to go to Sick Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the lobster is decaying, like it's past its freshness. Right. So you can see where right. I'm concerned here. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I'm just saying when you see a lobster in the ocean. So you haven't told them you're colorblind. No. <laughs> no, I'm really, really backpedaling on this one. <laughs> I am just digging a big hole. I am. You know, he's getting he's getting to the point where I'm like radioactive lobster and he's like, well, that's something, but I don't know. It's just really really, really no, I gotta commend you on getting through art school and everything, but uh, yeah. I've come a long way. I've come a long, long way. And someone's that someone's gonna the, find your secret. I know. I know that stint with the DOT. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then Kara told me that Tony doesn't even know what color eyes she has. <laughs> <laughs> even more personal. I don't know how you do it, but for some reason it's just, you know, it says, it says to Karen from Bill, but mm -hmm. Bill could never put as much love into that as you do. I know, I had my name in all my engravings. <laughs> Is that the secret? You, you, you actually put your name on the... Oh, yeah. uncanny. <laughs> it's like, it's got to be a fraction of a millimeter. Mm -hmm. And it's clear as day. Yep. The bit doesn't even get that small at the tip. How do you do that? Special bit. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you got to teach me, man. This is like the... You think you're ready? <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I think I am. You think you're ready to handle a micron bit? You didn't even know a micron bit existed about 30 <laughs> seconds ago. I'm just so excited at the thought of a micron bit. I've got to... Let me see your hand. Why don't you put it out there? Mm. That's shaky. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my nerves. I'm just so excited. <laughs> so I asked for you to make my daughter a locket. See? 
<laughs> you inscribed it, see? <laughs> and it's supposed to say, from your loving dad. Yeah? But that ain't all it said. <laughs> um, I was trying to put a little bit more care into the piece because I wanted it to come out so good, so I tried to add a little bit of my own personal... You know, it's weird, because your name tag says Jason. It is my name, yes. And there's a three micron high Jason <laughs> engraved on my daughter's locket. <laughs> three microns? I thought it was small enough. I figured, who's going to see more than the three microns? Everybody. Everybody with eyes. This is things remembered. You can't fuck around. <laughs> Salvatino was the guy who...
thin part where somebody went at it with a sander. Didn't go all the way through. Yeah, okay. yeah I see that. Uh, yeah. They, see they that. started. Yeah. Thin. The exact patch is like crossing guard vest orange. Oh, okay. The rest of it's like yeah. a little darker. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't even see those differences. That's not fair. Thank you. Thanks for telling me what it is. Are you serious? <laughs> really? You all had to tell me what kind of joke that was? <laughs> like, I didn't fucking know that was a call. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you call for a second. I didn't know that was a call. Oh, that's a call, man. Oh, I said it was guys, a good call. Guys, guys, can we not do this right now? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Marple! Hey, Marto! <laughs> oh, man, it's good to see you. Oh, it's just good to see you, Mark. You know what? I love our munchies. Uh, they do not happen enough. Uh, bologna and cheese with Marto and me. That's what I like to say. Uh, hey, guys, I got the brewskis. Margo! <laughs> hey, Margo? <laughs> hey, hey Ma hold on a second, Mark. Hey, Mark. Uh, Mark. <laughs> you invited you invited Mark to Bologna today? Yeah. Well, you know Margo. I do know Margo. Well, he's a good guy. I figured it'd be a good addition to the group. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, say bologna cheese with you, Margo, and me. Come on, let's get a bologna and cheese for three. Come on, guys. Cheese for three. three. All right, Mark. All right. He's fitting right. already. Yeah, Mark. Sorry, we only got two chairs. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> no, 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 you like your bologna and cheese? I do. I get your bologna yeah, and cheese. Yeah, thanks, so Mark man. invited you. Yeah. yeah. You invited Martu? Martu, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Mm. All right, okay. All right, let's. Mm -hmm. mm. right, so the trick is mustard on just one side of the bread, not both. That's very oh, easy. Hey, Martu, oh. Hey. I'm sorry, I was in the car. Hey, Marvo. <laughs> I haven't taken I, a bite yet. I took a big bite. <laughs> 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 Look how big my bite was. Marco's got a big bite. Marco, why don't you take it? All right. Hey, uh, Mara, you mind if I, uh, quick word? Go ahead. Just I took a seat. I just, I feel like you're not welcoming to the other, to the other mm. guys, you know? You know, I thought we had a thing going. We do have a thing. Now we have a bigger thing. <laughs> the sandwich cheers, you know? Mm. You know, it just kind of kind of dilutes the whole mm. mar o thing that we got. <laughs> I say the mar o, nice the merrier o. <laughs> <laughs> you, you made me do that. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. 
Stinking up a tad. Yeah. Maybe we might want to pull over a little bit, have our picnic a wee bit early, don't you think? <laughs> 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 oh, kangaroo! <laughs> 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 kangaroo and a picnic! Good eye, kangaroo! <laughs> <laughs> Swinging, it's you know you don't see many swings and gazebos. So. <laughs> okay. He's a little weird, but he's a nice you guy. You insulted him. No, 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 it's not an insult. I mean, I at least said, consider the swinging <laughs> option. Why are you putting these firmly in the ground? I'm, I'm, well, I'm just saying you could just sort of say like, yeah, maybe that would, but sounds great, but, and then you just do whatever you want. You don't have to. You just yes say on the moment. You don't have to do it later. It's not a binding contract. Do you want me to You're dig just saying, up the hey, neighbor, nice idea. I was gonna dig up the chairs. I'm, no, and I'm not start saying you're gonna dig up the chairs. I'm saying you don't insult your neighbor. Hello, Hello neighbors. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. looks like a fun gazebo you have. It will be when yes, it's done. Yeah, Miranda, yes. Miranda. I'm like, I'm a friend. I'm friend. I'm, I'm Martha. Oh. <laughs> 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 of it together at some point. Oh, yeah, oh, of yeah, course. Yeah. Can you believe it, yeah. this guy, huh? I tried. Yeah. Have you considered putting the bench on a rotating <laughs> base of some sort? What <laughs> idea? What a great idea. What a great idea. Wow. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's an idea, for okay. sure. That's well, an idea. A revolutionary a, idea. idea. <laughs> 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 Susan shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how naked I should 
should be, but... <laughs> this is naked enough. Okay. Make sure he feels comfortable. <laughs> oh, he's very tense right Sounds now. like my high school gym teacher. <laughs> Try and relax, oh, sir. Man. Yes, Coach Emmerich. <laughs> Am I doing am I doing the back right? I feel like I should be not hitting so many things that are pointy. You know, I'm having trouble with it at home. <laughs> <laughs> Do tell, I'm a therapist. <laughs> it's like we don't we don't listen to each other anymore. You know, like like I'm like, hey, I had a hard day at work. And she was like saying something while I was saying that, and I'm like, what the? I was trying to tell you about work, and you were already talking, and like, I don't know, we don't listen to each other. You know what? You look tense. Scoot over a little bit. Can I smoke while you're rubbing? I'm so moving. Right. Aren't you nice and loose? Well, and one relaxed. of the things I like to say, and oh, that feels great. Okay. In my practice, yeah. is that listening starts at home, but in this case, listening starts at home. <laughs> By at home, I mean. And you, Coach Emmerich. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa, indeed. Ah, 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 ah. Is, that, is that working? Ooh. Magical. Oh, yeah, this is know. good. We're facilitating some conversation. We're discussing some But feelings. it's like, like, are we just from different planets? Is that real, Doc? No. <laughs> You're both from Earth. Tell it to me straight. Was that, was that... Something you believe? <laughs> no, 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 like there's a famous book about relationships. Got men in for Mars and women in for Venus. Yeah, I, I remember, Coach. I... Uh, fucking books. Uh, fucking nothing but trouble. You got a nap right there. Excellent. It's like right there. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh. Cigarette for after. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know what the worst part about being a massage therapist is? Oh. Uh, that, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the point. Nobody ever asked the massage therapist how, he, how he's feeling. What? Uh. You know, I've got feelings too. I carry tension in all the same places as you guys. Oh, uh, so amazing. Unfortunately, I can't lift my legs high enough to kick myself in the back. Oh. But I can do it for you. Oh. <laughs> 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 therapist who can't respect boundaries. <laughs> Come into my house as Zen and you think that you're just going to get a massage? No. You must carry that tension. That's our code. <laughs> but it's so much. Oh, the burden is so great. Yeah. How Why do you, you think you sat on a floor for 12 hours one day? I thought we just couldn't afford chairs. We're massage therapists. <laughs> oh, no. That was to get in, into yourself. That was to line up your chakras forever to be just burdened with all of the energy of everybody. All the negative energy goes from them into your fingertips, oh, down your arms, arms, and you hold on to that forever. It feels like there's a steel spike going through my shoulder blades. You have to make it stop. There has to be some way to fix this. Here's a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Now tell me your problems. Uh, women, am I right? <laughs> no. I'm not into the sun. Uh, yeah, it is, it is weird. I do see you here a lot. Do you live nearby? 
No. Ah. <laughs> so, did you bring that? Is that like a Bluetooth speaker? <laughs> My ringtone. Ah. <laughs> 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 Tell it's a ringtone because it repeats back. <laughs> <laughs>